Hello, my beautiful people in Lagos. As you all know, this is a beautiful day in Lagos, Ikeja to be precise. And we are live at the Live, Love and Laugh fifth edition, tagged I Am Fruitful. And I am Shola Tawa, your host on the green carpet. And please stick with me as I bring you all the juicy, beauty and fun of the event of today. You don't want to miss it because I'm sure you want to live, you want to laugh, and of course, you want to be fruitful. So please stick with me as I give you the best of the best of today's show. As I said, my name is Shola Tawa. So let's go and see how beautiful the whole event is going. God will make a way Where there seems to be no way because he works in ways we cannot see He will make a way for you He will be your guide He will hold you closely to his side With love and strength for each new day He will make a way We are still live at the Live, Love and Love fifth edition tag, I am fruitful. I am honored to be standing beside His Eminence, Julius O.O. Abbey, primate of the African World Church. Good afternoon, sir. It's an honor to have you here, sir. Sir, this is the fifth edition of the Live, Love and Love tag, I am fruitful. Can you tell us why you just decide to identify with this event? Um, first and foremost, um, I would like to give thanks to God Almighty, the Creator and the Father of mankind, who has given us Moradeon as a gift, a special gift. I would say Moradeon is an angel sent by God to Nigeria in particular and uh, this world to touch lives and I when I heard about the program I was unable to attend it last year and I promised her that by the grace of God not sparing my life I will be here this year and here I am I'm so delighted to be here to be part of this program because this is a program that really touches life when you think of others who are less privileged or those who have something that they they desire so much which no one can really give but God and you have somebody who is saying I am there for you and you can lean on, on me by the grace of God such a person should be encouraged and um, be given all this necessary support to get it done thank you very much we appreciate you we are honored to have you sir Beyond God giving us an inheritance, giving us a child, we have found out for everyone waiting, God trusted you to wait. Please, believe God because it's going to come true for you. Ibiduni Igodalu Foundation and in his portfolio he also has several other benevolent um, corporations that he chairs. We're pleased to have you here, sir. Thank you very much. We're pleased to have you partner with um, N1 Events and we also know that your foundation has a reputation for metaphorically turning deserts into streams of joy. Can you tell us more about the beautiful works your foundation has been doing? Well, likely the Bini Godalo Foundation is focused on IVFs and is, uh, uh, helping couples that are having difficulty with natural conception to, 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 to conceive. But other than that, we're really focused on the mother and child as well. We go to hospitals, we visit mothers that have just had babies, especially government hospitals, we give them gifts, we give them presents, we give them start -off, um, starter packs with which they can look after their children. Uh, sometimes we discover one or two of them that are unable to pay their uh, medical bills. We pay those bills for them and we get them out of hospital. Then regularly we do um, babies day out where we go to poor areas or indigent areas and organize a little party for the babies and the pregnant mothers and also give them gifts. 
We also do regular conversations for young girls so that they can live a healthy life that will not allow them to be barren when they get married. We recommend abstinence and health and care of their bodies so that they'll be okay. Then also we're trying to start a few mother and child hospitals all over the place, partnering with the government and with also other people who want to partner with us to have these mother and uh, child uh, hospitals. And then we do annual conferences to tell people how to prepare for childbirth and how to manage themselves. Please kindly tell us what you have to say about the Live, Love and Laugh fifth edition. Uh, I think the the conveners of this program, Live, Love and Laugh, they're very, very good people. I think they have a good heart. I think they want to reach out to the public. First of all, use entertainment, lightheartedness to also raise money to support organizations like ourselves. I wish them very well. I want to encourage them to continue because life is about service and life is about being useful to other people. And I pray that all that they will do will be successful in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm a daughter of Zion. I got nothing but victory. I can never lose. The secret is mystery. I don't know why these dudes want to cross me like rosary. I guess the enemy me. They want to come close to me. So with me is Prince Adelaja of Mofade, the father of the container of deep love and love. Good afternoon, sir. Daddy, it's been five years that Moradeo Dada, Moradeo Dada has been holding this program. What do you have to say in this fifth edition? Well, all we can say is to wish her and her team to continue because uh, God's protection and the wisdom, the knowledge and understanding that she will be able to forge at her head in this enterprise that she has chosen, uh, that is charity based. And uh, not very few people are inclined towards charity. But she, she is gifted and she has the focus to engage in charity undertakings in very romantic people are and bless her. This is the fifth edition. The challenges and the smile she has put on faces. What do you have to say to the public about this, um, the subsequent event that is coming on, how they can support the M1 events? Well, I think um, the support will come by way of prayers, uh, by way of uh, visits to her, by way of advice, by way of suggestions, and by way of cooperation with whatever she puts across. And the, the and the reason with the foundations that actually supported the programs also, because it's through the foundations that she gets she gets the focus on what category of people in society that she should, uh, be, she should be addressing. This is the fifth edition, and it's focusing on people who are challenged and are looking unto the Lord for the fruit of the womb. So, as I've said, those are the areas in which we can continue to support, pray for her, encourage her, and they wish her well. How many people believe that it's only women that we look at that they are, they are cause of barrenness? Let's be very truthful. I know every one of us, when we think it's the women, but we now know that it's both sides. But there are solutions to this. Once again, we are live at the Live, Love, and Laugh. The fifth edition tag, I am fruitful. And with me is Mr. Tayo Akone, the general manager of Lagos Traffic Radio. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good, good afternoon. Sir, it's the fifth edition, and I can remember your faith very well. You've been consistent supporting this brand, M1. Tell us why you have been so consistent. It's been five years. Why have you been so consistent with the brand? The organizer herself has been a consistent person. You know, when you focus on, a, on an issue and you are throwing all your energy into that issue, trying to find a solution to some aspects of society that are very wrong, I think consistency of it is so key for her. That is why she has been on it for a long time. And I love that energy that she's showing into that uh, area of focus, which she believes so much in. You know, for me, it is consistency. That is why I've been part of that consistency, which I believe strongly that is making impact in this society. Thank you.
thank you so much. I hope you've been having fun for the past five years. Live, you have been living, you have been loving, and you have been laughing. So with the, for the past five years, what do you have to tell the public on supporting Live, Love, and Laugh? This program has been consistent. And that is a loan for me to call on all women Nigerians to come out and support this program. You know, the area, the aspect of which is touching, is so unique. You know, government cannot do everything all the time. Mm -hmm. That is why she has picked these parts of that society issue. That's why she's focusing on that part. So I want to enjoy women in Nigerians to come out and support this cause. And they will not regret doing that. Me. Let me just take my breath. Uh. So with me is our very own saxophonist, world winning and winner, whatever you can think, international, Africa, the whole globe. My very, very own, I'm sorry to use it, yeah. BJ Sax in the building. Thank you for having me. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm honored. Thank God. I cannot hide it. Thank God. I've been looking forward to it. We are here now, the day has come. Exactly, and uh, we, we are so grateful that you honored us. So please, I just want to know, this is the fifth edition. Why did you decide to come and identify with this Live, Love and Love, I Am Fruitful edition? For me, anything about fruitfulness, everything about love, love, you find me there. Once my schedule permits, then I will be in full support. And that's why I'm here today. You heard what he said, anything about love, Anything about laugh, anything about fruitfulness, you will find him there. So, BJ Sack, it's a great honor to have you. We appreciate it. Thank you very much and to have a nice time. Arguably the most handsome bubble in the building. His name is Fagade Olufemi Ademola, popularly known as Omo Baba the Greatest. Um, how you doing, sir? Very well, thank you. Yeah, no doubt about that. I'm cool, man. Thanks, bro. You inspire me, man. He's here back to back every year supporting this great venture of ours. Um, really appreciate him a lot. We'd like to know what motivates you to keep coming back here, sir. I mean, the convener of the event um, is a very nice person. She's passionate about entertainment. She's passionate about giving. And um, it's not just about sh showbiz. It is show give. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, so, I mean, so we're here to support as well. And for, for this year's tag, which is... Uh, being fruitful. Being fruitful. I mean, uh, going to the world and multiply. Oh, I, yeah. I mean, so we have to show support. Oh, I, I trust you. I trust you. How much multiplication have you done so far on earth? We well, thank God. <laughs> That's nice. So, um, your name is Omar Baba. You're also known as the Jesus Christ of Nigeria's comedy. Why? Is it because um, whenever you climb the stage, you perform miracles or whatever you touch, Becomes fruitful. <laughs> so, so Amma Baba means son of God. So the part where I refer to myself as Jesus, not Christ, Jesus of comedy, um, is the part that everybody picks on me on stage <laughs> to get funny. Oh, okay. So I'm their savior to be funny. So Thanks for saving us tonight, my friend and my brother. Nice to see you again. Amen. See you next year, sir. Amen. Try it, test me. Dogu wabi number one, nobody come to cause I'm a champion and I spend money to the early morning cause he... Back in the days when he was a bus conductor, <laughs> but when he became a millionaire at 24, he became Prince Will, the prince of Nigerian comedy. I've, I've, I've always been Prince Will. Oh. Prince Will had always been Prince Will my pet name. That's my name. So my name is Prince Will Ajirodi. Oh, that's such a lovely name. It's not surprising that he got married sometime this year. 
Uh, and is that coincidental? It's because not this year. Oh, it's not this year. My wedding is four years now. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I know that you missed it. You saw the anniversary pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's... You saw it was the wedding pictures. No, we're four years now. We have a three years old son. Four years down the line, and our program is being fruitful. Yeah. So you've been multiplying all this year. My brother, I get work. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. So I think uh, Prince Will is so appropriate for this event. We want to know, over the years, you've been consistent here with this uh, honorable venture of um, uh, M1 events. What inspires you to be a part of this house? Anything that is done to help those who need help is inspiring. The best investment is the one we put in people. So anywhere we're helping people is inspiring. It's a good initiative. Last year, we came out to support those with cancer. This year we are here to support people that are barren. What else can you tell God that you did on earth? If not this. That's lovely. I like the fact that you love to help. Can you help me with some of your millions? Uh, I can help you with advice. You understand? <laughs> we can help you different ways. <laughs> I can advise you. So now let me advise you. Let me pray for you. God will bless you. Amen, somebody. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Prince Will.